Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we met with the Council. They offered to reinstate Naomi as a Spectre, and of course, Naomi told them to go fuck themselves. They were extremely rude to her, and let's be honest, Naomi never really cared about being a Spectre in the first place. Now then, let's... Oh my, Kaiden, yeah, what happened to him? We're speaking with Anderson, we, we just want to see how he's doing. Naomi liked Anderson, he was like a father figure to her, and she never really had that growing up, so yeah, she was, she was very fond of him. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. See, the Keeper Union is there when you need it. Aren't you glad we unionized them? I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Mm. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Hmm. And Kaiden? What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I'm not working with them! I've been kidnapped! We're being held hostage! How have you been? How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Oh, buddy. Buddy, I... That, that would hurt Naomi's heart. That would hurt Naomi's heart because of the... We, we could put forward either Anderson or Udina, and Naomi... She, she thought that Udina was a sniveling little worm. He was a leech. She did not like him. Anderson, she trusted him. That's why she, she put his name forward. And yeah, and Anderson is a man of action. He's like her. She wouldn't want to be on the council. She'd hate it. So of course he'd hate it. Um, again, she really likes Anderson. She really admires and respects him. And currently, she is being held against her will on a Cerberus ship. She's not going to say, hey, come, come be a hostage with me. Like, no. This is, this is her cross to bear until she can blow up the elusive man's face. Like, that's... She's going to explode him. And then she's going to scrap the SR2. And she's going to get a new ship and she's going to take all of the crew to therapy to get deprogrammed like that's She's she's not going to involve Anderson in this mess as much as she would like. As much as she'd like to journey with him and this, that and the other. Not not whilst she's she's been kidnapped by Cerberus. Like, no, it put him in too much danger. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. 
You can't trust Cerberus. Uh, yeah, but hold up. I just saw an Elcor disappear on that bridge. Um, that that was weird. That was weird. We're not going to question it. But, um, yeah, you don't really need to be warning about Naomi, um, you know, trusting Cerberus. Because she doesn't trust them. She's plotting their deaths. She's plotting their downfall. This is a very nice office. Are you listening to the news, Garrus? Let, let me join in. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. Yet we saved him. We saved Chairman Burns from um, some biotics what had kidnapped him. And we were able to persuade him, like, hey, get get some help for the L2s. Hey, so someone should let Kaiden know. He could be in for some money. Oh, hello. So we, we can't explore the Presidium. Okay, fair dues. Well, we've we've been everywhere. We've done everything. Let's head back to the Normandy then. things first commander you oh. received a new message at your private terminal okay well i i guess first things first we'll have to wait till second uh da, 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 da. unread messages okay thank you again from samesh Bhatia. oh my god hey this was um this was narali's husband she was one of ashley's squad and she died on eden prime and the Alliance were holding her body for, you know, examination. And her husband was just like, just let her come home so I can bury her. Damn. From Samesh Bhatia, Commander Shepard, Mr. Udina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again express my thanks for your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Narali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. I have opened the restaurant that my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Narali's picture hands on, hangs on the wall and Alliance soldiers eat for free. It is the least I can do to honour the courage with which both you and my wife have served humanity. Sincerely, Samesh Bhatti. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Hey, Emily. A title, you're not dead, from Emily Wong. You're alive? How come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favourite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know, Emily Wong. We would happily do that. We would happily do that. From Omega Clinic Desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solace's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. So he did learn. He did learn, bless him. Okay, now we need to head to the mess to hand over the foodstuffs that we got. Is everyone enjoying the new food? You better be. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. It could be poisoned. <laughs> it could be poisoned, but again, this 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 is the guy who lost his family. He lost his family and Cerberus took him in. Again, these these poor groomed people, these poor groomed manipulated people will take a bite, why not? Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. 
Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. I... What? <laughs> the Asari are cannibals because they eat things with tentacles and they have tentacles. I, okay. That's, that's the level of logic we're going with. Okay. Okay, whatever. Um, you know what? Let me... I'm gonna just head up to the captain's cabin because we, we purchased um an upgrade you know extra ammo also we have fish feed the fish yes that's right eat up eat up babies together we will take down the elusive man naomi is going to weaponize the fish to take down the elusive man it's the only way it's the only way and oh my god hello hi there hi baby you're lovely. I love hamsters. I love hamsters so goddamn much. Now let's see. Um I'm my question is, did Okay, so yeah, this is the increases spare ammo capacity, increases health. So yeah, it is just a little like it doesn't it doesn't change anything about the arm. It just adds this little pack. Yes, I would like that. I would like that, please. And I don't believe... Aha! Uh -huh, okay! Yeah, increases health by 10%, and this is just 3%. No, shield strength. Okay. Oh, that's tough. That's tough, because that is swanky. I, th I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather have the um the health. I prefer to be I prefer to be chunky. That is that is my goal for most things. I right. Okay. Good stuff. Now then to be to be perfectly frank, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next because I thought I'd get to explore the presidium. But I don't. No messages for you, Commander. Okay, good stuff, Kelly. I don't trust you. Okay, let's back out. Um, do we have? Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. Okay, so that way leads to Boltzmann. Help Kasumi. Um, I think I'd. Let's look out here. Let's look out here. Here we have the local qu local cluster. I would assume this is where Earth is. Recruit the warlord. Help Saeed. I'm... So typically, when, when I have a blind let's play, and you know, you've got a crap ton of DLCs, I will look up a rough little, like, okay, here's maybe a suggested outline of, like, where the DLCs should come in the story because i i like things to make narrative sense i don't want to do a dlc and it's like oh you're almost at the end of your journey i started an hour ago like i'm not i'm not down for that so i'm i'm leaving the dlcs for now the the big dlcs like helping zaid and kasumi i'll do that whenever but i'm i'm leaving the big dlcs like in um like project overlord and the the crash site and all of that um Here's, here's my thinking, um... <laughs> I'm drawn... I'm, I'm actually drawn to helping Zaid. I, I feel like doing, like, a little mini quest before going and getting the convict to the warlord. I'm also very tempted to head over this way, just just because, you know, it says, oh, it's been explored 100%, but I think this is because that's where Earth is. I want to explore it. I have not been here in this game, so I want to explore it. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Let's just, let's just have a quick little little dash around make sure i'm not missing anything yeah there's jupiter there's mars and earth of course oh my god let's 
Let's start with the closest and we'll work our way out. So we can scan, aha. Huh? Mercury. A handful of solar power stations exists on peaks of eternal light at the north and south poles of Mercury. The difficulties imposed by the planet's proximity to the sun and high orbital velocity have limited development. Population, 340. Orbital distance, 0.39 AU. Orbital period, 88 Earth days. Radius, 2,240 kilometers. Day length, 58.7 Earth days. Atmospheric pressure, trace. Surface temperature, 430 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.38 G. And let's see, what have we got? Mm, it's, okay, that's to scan. Ooh, uh, yes, please. Probe away. Oh yeah. Launching probe. Ooh, yeah, I'm just I'm just going for the really big spikes. Um I'm sort of ignoring anything that's Yeah, that that's not big enough for me. Ooh, that is though. Probe launched. you kindly. Oh, hello. Probe away. Lot, lots of lovely things at the poles. That, no, nah, that's not big enough for me. That is. Probe launched. Anything else? Ooh, yes. Probe launched. And again, you. Launching probe. God, I am. I'm gonna go through so many probes. I'm gonna go through so many. Probe away. Okay, there we go. Now it's now it's poor. I think. Mm. And yeah, we're coming round to the beginning again. Okay, um... What was that? That's really good. Go on. Probe away. Okay, and depleted. There we are. Okay, we'll leave Mercury behind. Can, can we probe Earth? That is the question. Okay, okay, so I'm like, where's where's Venus? It's there. It's right there. Excuse me. Venus. With its molten temperatures, sulfuric acid clouds, and crushing carbon dioxide atmosphere, Venus has only a handful of aerostat research outposts. Population 800. Orbital distance 0.72 AU. Orbital period 224.7 Earth days. Radius 6,052 kilometers. Day length 243 Earth days. Atmospheric pressure 90 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature 465 Celsius. Surface gravity 0.88 G. Okay, and this is good. Can mm, get? I I think I'd like a little bit better than that. That's that's decent in a couple of places. Probe launched. Okay, already down to moderate. Okay. Ooh, hello. Probe away. Ooh. Probe launched. And ooh, yes, please. Probe away. And anything else? Anything else for the taking? Ooh, that's... Go on. Launching probe. We're getting a lot of platinum. We could do... Ooh! Probe launched. 
we could do with some element zero. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm good to leave it there, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you be. Then Earth, which I doubt we'll be able to scan, but you never know. No, not... Not Venus, Earth, Earth. Earth. For detailed information, please refer to the standard issue Alliance Galactic Codex. Earth's orbit is riddled with debris generated by bootstrap space development. Use of kinetic barriers is recommended at altitudes over 85 kilometers. Population surface 11.4 billion. Population L4 and L5 stations uh, 250,000. Orbital distance 1 AU. Orbital period 1 Earth year. Radius, 6,378 kilometers. Day length, 23.9 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, one Earth atmosphere. Surface temperature, 23 Celsius. Surface gravity, 1.0 G. Lovely. And Mars. Once considered a prospect for terraforming and colonization, the discovery of faster-than-light travel turned Mars into a quiet backwater. Its southern pole is a historical preserve centered on the Prothean ruins found there. Immigration and development are restricted as the search for Prothean artifacts continues. Orbital distance, 1.52 AU. Orbital period, 1.88 Earth years. Radius, 3,402 kilometers. Day length, 24.6 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, trace. Surface temperature, negative 138 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.38 G. And Saturn over here with your beautiful rings. Okay, so we can scan Saturn. Saturn has been a major source of helium-3 fuel for fusion plants since the 2150s. The moon of Titan is mined for hydrocarbons and used as a hostile environment training facility for Alliance Marines. Population, orbitals and Titan, 117,000. Capital, Hugens Dome. Orbital distance, 9.5 AU. Orbital period, 29.5 Earth years. Radius, 60,268 kilometers. Day length, 10.3 Earth hours. And let's see, what have you got? And anything a little bit higher. There we go. Probe away. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying my hardest to be conservative with the probes, but I, launched. I, I get the feeling that I am probably going to spend most of my money in this game on probes. And that is worrisome. Especially because, here's the thing, the reason why I had so much money in the first game is because you would get loot and you could sell it. And we can't do that in this one, which is um, worrisome. Ooh, that is that is very good. Launching probe. Lovely. And, ooh. Considering that's you know two peaks. Probe launched. Is that? Where was it? Um. You know, here's the thing, it was platinum. We have plenty of platinum. And thank you to the person who told me that it's impossible to cap out, um, you know, the, the element zero, iridium, platinum, palladium. It's, it's actually impossible to, you know, max those out. It's just rather dodgy, you know, UI design. So thank, thank you for letting me know that. Okay, that is Saturn done. And did I did I do Mercury? I can't remember. Yes, I did. I remember the codex entry, even if I don't remember mining it. Oh, 
Okay, Neptune. Though Neptune, like Uranus, has plentiful helium, its remoteness made it an unpromising target for mining before the development of Mass Effect Drive. With Uranus cheaper to exploit, it has never seen extensive development. The only permanent human presence is a small research facility on Triton. Population, Triton, 70. Orbital distance, 29.1 AU. Orbital period, 164.8 Earth years. Radius, 24,764 kilometers. Day length, 16.1 Earth hours. Um, yeah, no, that's not, that's not worth my time. Maybe. Yeah, this, this place doesn't have particularly, particularly decent. I'm, ooh, hello. I will take that, though. Probe launched. And, ooh, hello. Probe launched. Yeah, you know, here's, here's what I'm thinking I might do. I might, once I've scanned, um, Neptune. Launching probe. What I think I might do is I'm gonna very quickly head back to where the Citadel is and I'm gonna buy some more probes and then I'll come back, scan Uranus and, um, to the one Pluto. Probe away. Lovely jubbly. Anything else? Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, let's let's go. Yeah, I'll scan Uranus and Pluto, and then I'll bring this episode to a close for today. We're heading back to the Citadel. Okay, give 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 me the shit. Give me the shit. I need probes. There we go. And back here. Now then Uranus. development of Mass Effect FTL Drive, distant Uranus was the target of a land rush to exploit its combination of plentiful helium-3 fuel and shallow, for a gas giant, gravity well. Today, Uranus is the largest producer of helium-3 in Alliance space. Population, 3,700... This is a uh, 371,000, there we go. Capital, Sakharov Station. Orbital distance, 19.2 AU. Orbital period, 84.3 Earth years. Radius, 25,559 kilometers. Day length, 17.3 Earth hours. Oh, it's depleted. Is is there literally nothing? Literally nothing. Um, I mean, that's, that's somewhat decent. Let's just... We can get a little bit there. Really, Commander? What? What? I... Oh, we're probing Uranus. Okay. Okay, I st still, th there's some shit. There's some shit. Probing Uranus. Ed Edie's just like, N I can't believe. I can't believe you're doing this. very quickly. I, I just want to check. There could be something hidden away. Mm, that's, that's, that's not worth my time. Okay. Okay. We'll leave it be. And Pluto. Last but by no means least. Pluto is one of Sol's numerous ice dwarf worlds. It is mainly of note for being the gravitational anchor for the mass relay to Arcturus. 
Pluto and the Charon Relay, formerly encased in ice and considered a moon, orbit each other. Pluto's orbit was circularized, there we go, in 2157 as a side effect of the Charon Mass Relay recovery operations. Population, gateway stations, 9,300. Orbital distance, 39.5 AU. Orbital period, 247.7 Earth years. Radius, 1,151 kilometers. Day length, 9.4 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, trace, there goes my timer. Surface temperature, negative 229 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.06 G. Now let's see anything. Anything particularly spectacular, hello. Probe launched. Lovely. Mm. Ooh, hello. Launching probe. Beautiful. Okay, lots of iridium here. Probe away. Plenty of iridium, but still not, not much element zero just dicking about in the wild. Launching probe. Ooh, hello. Launching probe. Okay. Launching probe. Yeah, the, the next time I do some upgrades for the Normandy, I think we'll be able to... We'll be able to bash out a lot of them. That'll be handy. Mm. Ooh, hello. Probe away. And there we go. Okay, yeah. Good stuff. Okie doke. And I am going to bring this episode to a close right here. I think I think my plan for the next few sessions, I'm going to go help Zaid. I'm going to pick up a new companion. I'm going to go help Kasumi. I'm going to pick up the remaining companion. I think that's I think that's a pretty decent way of doing it. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.